Outside of a game of chess, how do you lose a bishop? How do you lose two? When they're dead. They're very careless with our bishops. <laughs> We've had an email from Sam Waters at Fremantle who wants to know how did the two bishops that were recently discovered beneath the Perth Cathedral go missing? Well Sam, let's go and find out. A bit of background first. The bodies in question were pioneers of the Catholic Church in Perth. Bishop Martin Griever was passionate about the welfare of orphans and convicts. Bishop Matthew Gibney went fundraising on the East Coast and found himself in the middle of a gun battle at Glen Rowan. Some slight fame attached. While he was there, he actually heard the confession and anointed uh, Ned Cully because there was a fear that he was going to die. And uh, he also went into the uh, hotel where the other Cully uh, gang members were, but apparently they were already dead when he got in there. And, uh, but he was the first one to sort of see that. When the bishops themselves died, they were buried as befitted their status. There was no doubt that the bishops were in the walls of the cathedral. We were, we were sure of that, but the exact location was the issue. Despite the best efforts of Perth's Catholics, the cathedral was never completed. But there were additions and changes, which meant things were moved around. Everyone would have known back in the 19th century that there was a crypt in front of the sanctuary. But I guess they just don't think of future generations and that these things can sort of get lost. But today, there's even more change. St Mary's is being restored and finally completed. And, thanks to the sharp eye of Sister Frances Stibby, the mystery's been solved. I don't know what made my eye cast down to, to the floorboard, but it was in between two parts of a pew. And I thought, oh, that looks like something carved on the floor. The question was, well, why, what, what's this cross doing there? And um, because only one cross had been found, and not four that we eventually found, uh, a bit of guessing was going on. But then came the evidence. Under the floorboards was a piece of galvanised iron. Under the iron were two brick graves. Because we couldn't at any time during the excavation procedure put any weight on top of the soil, uh, we had to suspend ourselves on a plank over the coffins laying on our, uh, on our stomachs. And when we got Beyond the chest area, we realised we had a little viewing panel in the coffin uh, in, built into the wood. And you could see, the, and that was all encrusted with white ant material, so we couldn't see inside. So we got a bit of water, cleaned the glass, and lo and behold, we've got a skull looking back up at us. When St Mary's is finally finished, there will be a new crypt with room for 14. Bishops Griever and Gibney, currently in storage, will take their rightful places. Some might say it's all predestined. I wondered why I studied archaeology, you know, 10 years ago and, uh, and uh, have never done anything with it. Uh, but now uh, maybe that's God's plan, you know, that <laughs> after all this time he, he was getting me ready to dig out these two bishops. I, I'd, I'd say that this time they won't be lost. <laughs> Hmm, Jim in coffins. Not something I want to do, really, no. But we have Rob and Nappy here. Welcome back, Rob. How are you? Thank you, Peter. I'm fine. Have you exhumed any coffins in your time? But I, you have. I'm afraid I have, Peter. And you have to do it at a time of day when there's least number of people about, which is always dawn. Of course, it's very eerie with all the mist floating across the graveyard. Mm -hmm. And of course, you don't know until you take the lid off the coffin what state the body's going to be in. Does the coffin stay intact? Do the no, coffins rot away? They no, rot away it doesn't. Well. And that's a huge problem. Yeah. If you have a family vault, and, and all the coffins oh. have collapsed, right. you just get a big pile of bones. So is it a difficult job? It, it, it is, Peter, and if you're doing it at the time that we've just been looking at, Victorian, yep. you have to be horrendously careful because it's a time capsule right. and you're burying people with things like um, small...